What's going on guys? We are back with a quick update. Um, I just had to record this impressive effect because I'm tuning the system as high-end as it can be so I can make it as efficient as it can be. And I have a 10 millimeter 3 volt DC LED in series, going in series with the transmitter's input. And um, our L4 transmitter output is powering this LED. I have them side by side next to each other. The wireless L4 LED seems brighter or equal to the LED in series going to the transmitter's input. I put this on my post section on YouTube to show because it was very impressive. Um, the current meter is also in series with the transmitter. We're consuming half of one milliamp, less than half of one milliamp. A capacitor in parallel on the um, input to the transmitter, as close to the transmitter as possible, further reduces power consumption. And you see that effect. Um, it's tuned with three ferrite rods right now. This is how my DC output looks. I had to have a capacitor go diagonal from the AC output of the L4 to one leg of our special rectifier. That capacitor value is essential to achieve it. A 1000 UF um, 35 volt DC cap. And this other tuning cap going from the bottom of our L1 coil to our emitter. And I believe that was 1.5 nanofarad. And yeah, I've got, I've got my output LED slightly brighter than the LED in series going to the transmitter. It's either on par with it or slightly brighter, which is very damn impressive and highly anomalous. So I had to show that effect that LED is connected in series with our transmitter and this is the LED at the L4 output so it's very impressive I just have to get that on camera show it so for all the doubters saying that there's no magic with this thing there's absolute magic and I'm trying to tune it to perfection um, this is the LED in series feeding the system it goes 12 volt battery LED transmitter input and then on the um, negative output of the transmitter, the negative rail, is our series digital multimeter. And we're consuming half of one milliamp. We're on the most sensitive setting. And the L4 output, which is our harvested power, seems to be equal to or slightly in excess of the power that's flowing through the LED into the transmitter, which is very interesting. So I had to film that effect, get it out there. Um, yeah, just wanted to show that. If I disconnect the system now, the um, it wants to stay energized due to that capacitor that really helped it. So I think I can get the L4 even brighter than the series LED feeding the transmitter. If we get the capacitor value just right there and that capacitor value right, that's between the bottom of the L1 and the emitter. So, very interesting. And um, I'll hook it back up. We have a safety resistor in series, a 50 ohm safety resistor, keeping the transmitter stuck in low power non magnetic drag mode. Um, so I don't want the system to latch on and consume a lot of current. So, yeah, I wanted to get that out there, show that very cool effect. <clears throat> and again, to sum up what's going on, transmitter is driven off a 12-volt battery, LiPo battery. We have a 10-millimeter 3-volt DC LED in series going into the transmitter's input so I can monitor the current flow going into the transmitter. Um, on the negative input line of the transmitter, we have a sensitive digital current meter measuring current going into the transmitter and my L4 output that's tuned up properly or just about properly is powering this LED on the left and the LED on the right is the LED that's lit in series feeding the transmitter and our output seems equal to if not greater than our input. I'm going to get these side by side as best as I can 
is very interesting. I mean, you be the judge. For my human eye that I can tell, the one on the left is just slightly brighter ever so. Just a tiny bit. But on camera, you can't really tell. But, um, figured I'd show that off. Food for thought. And yeah, thank you everybody. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, join the Patreon. Get all of our free books and information on the main page of our YouTube channel. And yeah, stay creative, because electrical research, there's no balance of what you can do with it. So, thank you, everybody. And we'll see you around.